Um, today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make these little fondant booties. Um, I've got a tutorial for um, Converse baby shoes, but these are just a bit more, these are just sort of plain little booties that can go on top of a cake. They're really, really easy to make. Um, and um, you can decorate them. I haven't decorated these ones, but there's heaps of ways that you could decorate them and colour them or even hand paint them. Enjoy. Hi. Okay, first of all, here is the template that I'm going to use. So I'll put a link to this template so that um, you can all use the same one. Basically, uh, this is for one shoe. You're going to need to cut out two soles and then you're going to need to cut this out in reverse for, of the other shoes. So obviously, you've got a left and a right little booty. Um, so I'm firstly, I've also rolled a, a added some tylo powder into my fondant so that it's going to hard it's going to harden properly or modeling you need to either use sugar paste gum paste or use fondant with a hardening agent i use fondant always with a hard, hardening agent roll that out um, it's, a, it's a decent thickness but um, you need to sort of let it sit there for a bit you'll find and you'll learn it as you go if you start cutting out and trying to stick it together and it's too flimsy, it's not going to work and you'll know that you just have to sit there and wait for a bit. So I'm going to cut out my pieces and um, then put, the, I've, I've printed this onto sort of a, a thin cardboard. So um, I'll put my pieces on my fondant, cut around it with a knife, hope that it, I can cut around it properly and, uh, and let it sit here for a little bit so that it's easy to stick together. Um, next time I'm going to use the stitching tool. This is fantastic and I'm just going to gently put it around the outside of my long pieces of fondant just so it can, you can get that stitching effect. So, look, I haven't done the best job of it. It's not that accurate, but that will definitely do okay so next thing is um just going to gently make sure you don't want anything to be sticking to the ground um grab my pieces i'm gonna start putting some water around here where's my cup Okay, so the reason that there is uh, the red mark is because that is the point that you want. Where's my other one? Here. This is where the two pieces are going to join. So it's basically in the centre of the shoe and like that. I really should get some toilet paper. You see this has been sitting here for a little while, my fondant, so it's a little, it's nice and easy. And then here, where they join up, you want to just put a bit of fondant down the side, a bit of water down the side, so that it can join up together. Move this back a little bit. So you can see there it's actually joined really easily, which is good. And then you just want, I'm just going to go get some toilet paper and stick it in first. Show you how that looks. You can see it's just joined up nicely there. It's sort of looking that to the side there. And it's pretty even around there, so that's great. I'm just going to wait for that to um, harden overnight. Okay. 
Okay, so here are my two little shoes. Um, I'm just gonna let them uh, sit here and dry and make sure my kids do not touch them while they harden. Okay, so here is the finished product. I'll show you just one here. They're really cute. Now, I haven't decorated these at all, um, but what I'm thinking you could do is, uh, you know, blue for boys, yellow for unisex, pink for, for girls. You could actually make little tiny blossoms for a girl one and just stick all the little blossom flowers on, or you could just stick one big flower on here. A little button over here would be really cute. I might do some decoration ideas and do another video on that. Um, and for boys, I was thinking you could even make like a little monkey or a little, um, yeah, a little zoo animal even and, and put it on the end and that would look so cute and they just sort of sit up on top, well, that's the other way around, sit up on top of um, the tier, top tier of the cake. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I've got the link to the download um, in the post. Enjoy.